It's a, it's a fun little thing that we put together with the help of some of our great sponsors, and those are the people who got you here by being a sign-up sponsor. And then, of course, uh, there's going to be two families that are going to walk out of here with an a even bigger smile than the rest of us. Uh, we're all going to get a good meal. Uh, we're all going to get some great gifts because as a semi-finalist, you've all received a gift from your sponsors. If you haven't, you're going to yet tonight. Uh, that's, part, that's part of the deal. You all get a gift, so everybody here is uh, going to get something uh, from your sponsors, So it's and, and they're very nice. We start out uh, first on the list. Uh, I have got State Farm Agent Jessica Noble. You can stand and wave to everyone. We'll let you. And, uh, two semi-finalists. Uh, her first semi-finalist was Tom Bush from Brewster, Minnesota. <laughs> you people like you. <laughs> He's really a nice guy. <laughs> uh, her second semi-finalist was Brian Gertis from Fulton. They had, they had boxes in multiple locations at the I-90 Cenex, uh, at the downtown Worthington location at Jackrabbit Junction in uh, Sibley, and also their, their main office uh, in Sibley right next to Jackrabbit Junction. They had boxes in all those locations. Uh, and they had uh, semifinalist Tom Fight from Rushmore. <laughs> and from Sibley, Joel Van Geltner. So uh, if you see the crew at Graham Tire, thank them uh, for being a sponsor. They had semifinalists that included Mark Meyer from Rushmore. Their other semi-finalist is Fred Dion. Yeah. <laughs> Cobb is here from Worthington Ag Parts. Most of you know me. <laughs> That's why nobody applauded. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Worthington Ag Parts uh, semi-finalists include Jeff Luterman from Fulda, Minnesota. Congratulations, Jeff. I'm a semi-finalist through Cropland Genetics, and uh, those two semi-finalists include uh, Steve McNabb from Brewster, and Russell Penning from Wilma. Danny Weber's here from New Vision, one of our premier sponsors. They had the box in the Worthington and the Reading locations. Uh, their first semifinalist was Burdell Cool. Their second semifinalist was Kurt Studi. Ryan's here, they had uh, their Wilmot, Worthington, and Round Lake locations all had boxes. And their two semi-finalists, uh, first week was Nancy Feakin of Rushmore. And Perry Timmer from Jackson. Our next uh, sponsor was the crew at Jaycox Implement. Chad and Kristen are here. Uh, their first semi-finalist was Jerry Brooker. And their second was Craig Onkin. Up north of the Hills, Bank and Trust, Jed Brooker's here. Uh, locations both in Worthington and Brewster had boxes. And their first semi-finalist from Okabina is Lance Haberman. Their second semi-finalist from Worthington, Keith Larson. Next up is State Farm Agent Jason Vogt. Jason had the box for two weeks and picked out two semi-finalists, and the first was Leonard Nagel. Next up out of Jason's semi-finalists was John Moberg. Through Worthington Power and Equipment. Uh, two semi-finalists include uh, the first, Glenn Swanson, Swanee, and Dan Riley. Here, and then you can find out how this will all work. Okay, the, the biggest thing we want to stress is recognize that this is an incredible gift. Boy, this really is Oh, that one just got dropped. Okay. There you go. Here's number one. The first winner of 
of the 2011 Farm 40 on us with our premier sponsors, Division Co-op, Cropland Genetics and Agri-Solutions, and Co-op Energy Company. From Brewster, Minnesota, Steve McNabb. <laughs> Farm 40 on us soybean package goes to from just outside of Reading, Minnesota, Mr. Tom Fight. Congratulations. Hey, Congratulations. I like you. <laughs> 